Welcome to Now Advisory Services Private Limited. In this video, we will try to explain how to import transactions from Excel to Tally. So our objective will be to import purchase, sales and expenses pertaining to say example rental uh, expenses directly from Excel to Tally. So the process is simple. We will export the required transaction in XML format which the Tally accepts open the tally module and will copy paste the XML file link which we have which has been created by this module and import the same into tally so basically this is the transaction sheet which will be maintaining in excel purchase sales and uh, for sample purpose i have taken as some rental expenses say example uh, uh, it's pertaining to certain uh, rental for the showrooms in chennai bangalore hyderabad and mumbai and uh, this is the vendor name to whom we're going to make the payment and this tally expense ledger these are the ledger let's say example it would have been rental ex uh, rental expenses or i've just given us lease rent s1 and this is the cost center and this is the month which is it uh, which it pertains to so gross amount is this tds is this much and final net outflows is this much then once this is booked we will make payment for this so the same thing we have extracted along with the check number so what will happen is the entire thing after making a book we just have to come here and click on this button create xml files so once this is clicked automatically the xml file is being generated right now it's creating the xml file in the background so you can find right now it's uh, it contains sales purchase and the rent booking and the rent payment so now what you have to do is we just have to copy the link of this file say exam or say we take for sales so i'm just gonna copy the link from here copy the link just copy the link i just have to click this uh, i'll just before that i'll show you in tally that i currently there are no vouchers so I'm going to exit tally, I'm going to come here and click on this tally open button. So you can see the tally is being auto loaded. So you just have to go import vouchers, give the link to this voucher. once I put enter you can see now the sales vouchers have been entered so you can see there are three sales vouchers the same which has been reflected here three sales vouchers one two three and if we just total it seven two nine eight um, seven two nine eight uh, the thing is it's being ex the data is being even uh, uh, it can be used even for the VAT purposes the same thing I'll show you the statutory reports that that computation so if I just select the period uh, it was for the one four one eight two thirty one eight so if you just see the sales value has been extracted here along with the six nine five zero so if you just come to the excel file and see 6950 and the VAT amount 3438 similarly what we're going to do is we're going to import the purchase also copy the link from here come to tally vouchers got imported similarly we'll do it for the rental booking also okay and after rental booking we'll book for the rental payment also So 
now what you see is all this data has been imported now we'll just go and cross verify once ea um, yeah we have made for tds right now you can see the voucher has been booked so you can see uh, i'll just take you to the excel file say for s1 we have booked for 350000 with 35000 sts for cost center chennai so if you see here for 350000 35,000 is tedious and it is for the cost center Chennai and along with this narration also we are capturing that it is for which month this can be found out here see we are capturing we are since it is for the month of July we are capturing July month so whatever predefined you wanted to import into tally the same can be updated in Excel and it will be imported next uh, coming to the uh, purchases if you see we have two purchase vouchers along with the invoices so here are the two purchases 13 and 14 so you can see 13 voucher number and 14 and it has got quantity also 14 uh, 150 numbers 150 numbers along with the tax classification and we are even tracking the count of the uh, count of quantity sold the same I will take you in statutory reports for VAT, VAT computation uh, for the month of July. Uh, let me check the month, uh, it's in the month of August. So here you can find for purchases it has been tracked. for the two months sorry for the two transactions so this is how we can import the data from excel to tally in an easier way and what are the other things which we can do are purchase item wise along with task classification sales item wise tedious expenses along with the details required for a few file generation so that you just need to click on uh, uh, a few file generation and you can directly validate and upload it for form 26 yes contra entries payments receipts along with bill details i guess this was narrative thank you so much for watching this video now advisory services private limited thank you once again